Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you how to put your bullet points side by side in Google Docs. So let us get straight in. The first thing you want to do is navigate to Google Docs. If you're using Chrome, you can find it on your list of apps on the right hand side of your page. You can just tap on Docs and you will be getting into a page that looks like this. You can now um, go ahead and make your list. Now, as you can see over here, we've got a list and we can now see it's on two pages so what we're going to do is first of all we are going to highlight everything and that's just by clicking down and dragging your cursor all the way down so now we've got everything highlighted we're going to go over to this toolbar here and we're going to locate bullets now you can choose your style of bullet points we're going to just choose these simple bullets and we're going to go up into our menu over here and we're going to tap on format and we're going to tap on columns and then we're going to tap on more options here you can choose the number of columns over here so let's say we want two columns and then you can put the spacing over here we're going to make it 0.5 and then you can have a line between your columns or not you can just check that on and off you can tap on apply and now you can see that this list is now on one page and there are two columns there's another way of doing this and i'm just going to go back quickly now as you can see here um instead of you know doing the whole list let's say we only have half of the list here so we're going to remove this and we want to go ahead and we want to do it individually i'm going to show you how to do that so as you can see over here you are now going to hit your space bar and on your keyboard you'll find a tab button and that'll give you some spacing so you're just going to go one two three four five and now you can start typing or you can actually um, edit your text in over here so the next thing you want to do is type your um your words out or your list or whatever the case may be and then you're going to go over to the next line and you're going to go space and one two three four five on the tab button and you want to go and enter that manually as well now when you highlight this you are going to then put it in the bullet point form as you can see over here so then you can do them individually and not just have one single line if this was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time. Cheers.